What's up guys, Swazdola, Tenos, and everyone else out there watching. Uh, today I want to do a video on a weapon that was commented uh, for single target purposes, the Tenet Flux Rifle. Now this weapon can be obtained by doing the Sisters of Paravos and getting a Lich to drop the Tenet Flux Rifle with an added bonus element. Um, I will put a picture of the progenitors and what bonus they give right now. You guys can look at that, pause that, but for now, I will be showing you the capability of this weapon and showing you that I don't have anything on my Warframe right now and nothing on the rifle right now. I'm just going to show you uh, pretty much the rifle if you don't already know. So, Tenet Flex Rifle is a assault rifle that shoots like a laser beam. The original version is a beam weapon, but the Tenet version they decided to go with more of an assault rifle approach with 120 in the mag, a pretty quick reload, um, and we have a thousand in the reserve, so fire away, fast fire rate, whatever, ammo should not be a problem on this weapon, and if you do have problems, you could always put in the ammo mod, like an ammo mutation or vigilante supplies. I will be demonstrating on level 110 heavy gunners because I'm only MR 16, so for those of you who are low level, could probably relate to the usage of this weapon because I probably will not have all the expensive mods and you probably don't have the expensive mods either if you're watching but if you do um, the weapon is more than capable of annihilating one target 110 a lot of ferrite armor so let's look at the stats so on the tenant flex rifle we will start with accuracy at 200. I mean, this thing's pretty much a laser pointer. It's pretty straight. It doesn't really sway off the crosshair. Crit chance is at 20%, which is pretty okay. Pretty admirable. Good crit chance. Crit multiplier is a bit low. It's at 1.8. I would say standard crit chance and crit multiplier would be 20% and two times. For fire rate, you have seen the fire rate. <laughs> and then the magazine at 120. And then the noise is obviously alarming. You're not gonna do this stealthily without a uh, Banshee passive or etc. Reload is at 1.8, which is pretty low, especially considering you have 120 in the magazine. The ribbon disposition is at two out of five. So um, for the tenant and the non-tenant version of this gun, the ribbon dispo will be a bit different. The tenant version will definitely have lower stats. Uh, you can see this ribbon right here that I have. On the non-tenant version of this, uh, this ribbon will actually have higher stats than the ones that you see here. So for the IPS, we'll actually only have puncture and slash, uh, plus the elemental bonus that you get from your progenitor. So no impact procs, you'll only receive puncture or slash, which the more likely being slash because it is the greater number. So the greater value. So total will be 27.5. So as always, you will use your basic four core mods for most assault rifles. There's gonna be split chamber. You're gonna go serration, and then we're gonna find point strike and vital sense. And so I'll be showing you a viral slash build that will help melt the targets um, using pretty cheap mods, mods that anybody could have. So the elemental combo we said was viral. So you type viral here, you can get vector clip. You can go the 90 mods, right? Um, like this, but this weapon has pretty good status and we wanna make use of that status chance. So if you have it, you're gonna get the 60-60 mods, which is rhyme rounds, 60 cold, 60% 60 status chance. And then you're gonna want a mod called Malignant Force, all right? Now, I, I don't have the Malignant mod, right? But I do have the 60-60 for cold. The Malignant Force will just be 60% toxin, 60% status chance, which will raise your status chance a lot higher. So if you have those two, I would slap those on. So if you don't know how the status chance works, it is 60% of the base status chance is being added to it. So that's why it's 26 to 41.6. It will be much higher if you have both of the 60-60 mods. And it will be higher damage values over here because you're adding that 60% cold and toxin. So I'm adding 90 with a 60-60 since I don't have it. And for the last two mod slots, you want 100 munitions for sure. This is what's going to keep the gun performing as good as it does. The viral and the hunter mumu is going to be the hunter munitions and the viral is going to be the combo that does pretty much all the work here. 
So based on the assumption that this is probably two forma in or one forma in, I will leave this last one empty to compensate so that this right here is probably what you're gonna be using if you don't have it forma in. Now, like I said, I don't have anything like corrosive projection or anything like that. This is just the weapon itself performing. Now, 110 corrupted heavy gunners have a lot of ferrite armor, so it's pretty tough to get through. So there, I dumped about 40 bullets into him, pretty much got him to 65% health, and that viral slash is what does pretty much all the work. Viral slash is pretty much doing all the work. And you see there's 10 virals, 6 slashes, that status chance is very, very high, proccing a lot of status in that one. Now this is cheapo cheapo build, very easy to acquire, nothing special. You're gonna keep spraying through the target like that, which you probably will in a normal mission. You're probably not gonna leave it alive. That's what it would look like. You can see the slashes definitely catch up to the target. There is one mod in particular that makes this weapon a lot more status chancy. We are looking for Flux Overdrive, right? This can be acquired in the index if you're going to buy it off somebody. This is, I don't even, you should even pay plot for this actually. You, if you're at Neptune, I'm pretty sure you can get this through the index. If I am wrong, I'll put some text on the screen right here uh, to how to actually acquire the Flux Rifle or Flux Overdrive. So the mod says it fluctuates between 150% and 250% over five seconds while the beam is fired. Um, it works a little weird because this isn't a beam weapon anymore. Uh, so it just gives you like 90% status chance like right off the bat. Or like, uh, yeah, like 90% right off the bat here. Um, so you're sitting at 130.5. You could definitely feel the difference with this mod in that last slot. All right. So if you do have that build that I just had and you had this one and that last slot, you would be definitely doing some damage and I'm going to show you right now what that would look like with uh, the 6060 mod as well okay so here we are with the new build uh, with flux overdrive pretty it's the same build just with flux overdrive in that last slot here it's the same same exact setup uh, 6060 if you had another 6060 mod here it definitely would be a lot better so you could proc more statuses now here we're back to the 110 heavy gunner and we're going for headshots because body shots will not do nearly as much damage. And if you can see those bleeds, that was 19 bullets by the way, 120 mag down to 101 and melted. This is 15 bullets, still a good enough amount to kill definitely will put slashes and virals on your target like no tomorrow and if you're firing through your target like that because you're probably gonna be firing like that in a real mission not gonna lead them to die but if you do just get into about 75 percent health before you get off that target As you see, this weapon is a very good single target damage weapon and can definitely melt uh, some of the higher level enemies with all the status chances you're going to be putting on. Or with all the status effects you're going to be putting onto your enemies. Now I do have a Riven build for this. Um, so Flex Overdrive and this Riven are pretty much the only two peculiar mods you're going to see on this build. Um, if you have Prime Cryo Rounds or Critical Delay, those two mods are pretty good too on this weapon. Uh, there's different builds you can go with. This is so my experience with this weapon as someone who's lower MR and doesn't have access to some of the mods that you see. This one's not even maxed either. Heat on it, which is going to be proccing as well, which is not the best, but definitely not bad because heat is in a pretty good spot. Um, critical damage, critical chance, and minus zoom. So this ribbon is pretty, pretty good, in my opinion. Same old, same old build of Hunter Munitions, and I will be showing you how it looks for this one. 
Now, the only thing I don't like about having heat on this is that it causes the target to panic. And when they panic, they flail around a lot more, making it harder to hit their head. So I would say be wary of that. But while they're panicking, they can't shoot you. So I guess it's a pretty good form of single target crowd control, unless you spray the ball. But here I'll show you once again with 110 corrupted heavy gunners. So you can see they're burning as well, but it's a bit harder to hit their head. So it kind of, it's a good and a bad, but if you do hit their head pretty consistently, it is very, very satisfying. And you can see they're burning. The extra form of crowd control is doing pretty good at 110 corrupted heavy guns. That performance is just subpar, and you could see the Chibo build it was no different, if not better, than my Riven build. That could be my building is pretty bad as well. But here I will show you with Corrosive Projection, which is a realistic mod that you, you or teammates might have. Um, it's not a very hard mod to get, and it reduces 18% of the armor, making them a little more squishy and a bit easier to deal with, just in general. So like butter, you're going to be cutting through your enemies with the status chance and the status effects. I don't even think I hit his head at all, <laughs> but you can see if you hit your headshots, it is pretty nice. And there's no reason not to, because this thing shoots in a straight line, unless you're doing the heat route which makes their head move around a lot more. It's definitely a be a bit harder, but nothing too crazy. You can see 24 slashes, 16 hit procs, and 10 viral procs. That is mainly weapon performance by itself and corrosive projection, which is pretty much a given. There's always at least some person with corrosive projection in the group. And if you wanted to buff uh, yourself, let's say with Wisp and her fire rate, you can see that uh, the status effects look ridiculous melting the target. It's just like a big old red line. It's a very fun weapon to use, and there's a lot of potential with this weapon. So. If you do have Sisters of Parvos and all that quest and stuff and you can get 10 hit weapons, the Flux Rifle is definitely a weapon to pick up. Definitely a fun one to experiment with and um, for your progenitor, I don't know what to recommend besides Toxin. I would say Toxin is pretty good. You can go with Viral because it has the innate Toxin damage and you just have to act cold. Nevertheless, this is a very satisfying and fun weapon to use if you like putting a lot of status effects on your target. Definitely pick it up with the Sisters of Parvos uh, Corpus Liches and go for whatever progenitor you like. Remember that the viral is cold and toxin. I would recommend a toxin progenitor and I'll put it back up on the screen so you can see and just have fun with it. It's a very fun weapon. Pick up Flux Overdrive at um, the index and yeah. Thanks for watching and listening to my rant about the Tenet Flex Rifle. See ya.